welcome to Fixing with Friends. So today we're going to be helping out Amanda. Uh, we're going to show you guys how to do a tire change. Sort of. Things don't exactly go to plan. And then we also ended up uh, doing like a light bulb change for your indicators so you can I guess, see how to do that if you've never done it before. Uh, yeah, I'll quickly run through the process of how you normally do it, and then we'll get into actually what we did, so you can see <laughs> how things don't always go to plan. Stop losing focus. All right, let's get started. So, here are the 10 steps to replacing your wheels. Put your car in park, or in gear if it's a manual, and set the emergency brake. Next, Chalk any wheels that are still free. Set your jack in place and lift until the jack's held in place. And break the lug nuts loose on the corner that the jack's under. Do not remove them. Then continue jacking until the tire is off the ground. Or if you have a jack stand, until the jack can be set. Next, you remove the lug nuts that are loose and replace the wheel. Then tighten the lug nuts until they're all snug and lower the car until the weight's on the tire but the jack is still held in place. And then torque the lug nuts in a star pattern and repeat once to be safe or twice or three times, however many times pleases you. <laughs> and then lastly remove the jack and repeat on the other wheels. So uh, once that's done on all of them, something that you should be doing is after driving the car around some, so uh, maybe 100 to 200 kilometers, I've heard 400 from some places, but really all that matters is that the car is getting out and moving around. Retorquing it will tighten it down to what you need it to be. Uh, or you'll find that it didn't need it, but either way you know that it's good. Welcome back to Fixing with Friends. Today I'm here with Amanda. We're going to work on her lovely Volvo. Uh, we're just changing, I'm helping her change some tires. It probably won't take very long. <laughs> Usually the first step is to like loosen the bolts. bolts, but since we have this. It's not off the ground very much. But. Oh, it doesn't have to be. As little as possible is, is yeah, jacking it. Good. It's the hard thing. Okay. So, um, there are different speed settings on here. Mm -hmm. The direction indicates which way you're going. Mm -hmm. So that's tightening, I guess, and there's only one for loosening. So safety glasses, hearing protection, because air tools, pretty self explanatory. Just make sure it's on. So when you're using an impact driver, you want to make sure that the socket is fully seated before you try using it. So make sure it's just as on. So the last two lug bolts we attempted to take off were either rusted or put on too tight. So the sort of cheap impact driver we were using couldn't take it off. We had to do it a different way. Oh. 
too much you can do because if you put uh, fluid on it of any kind it actually makes them tighter when you put it in. Oh, okay. Something about leverage. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It seems counterintuitive but I guess that's how it works. You can see that uh, the tires are a little bald. These wear indicators in the center um, are flush to the like change point, and on the outside, you can't even see that they existed. On this, there's there's likely an alignment issue. Uh, the camber, you can almost see the belts. These really need to be changed. <laughs> it's good for changing. Here's the tire we just removed on the left and the next two tires that we're going to drop on and we're just trying to identify which one is most appropriate to replace it with based on the wear pattern on the old tire. Back. <laughs> Like, it's still worn, but uh, it's worn very evenly. So, like this side a tiny bit more. When retightening the wheels, you have to do so in the correct order. The next bolt you tighten must be across the center from the one you just finished. As you do so, you'll notice you're forming a star pattern. The number of points is determined by the number of bolts or nuts on the wheel. Hundred foot bell. Cool. Oh, you put those in all the way by hand. Sorry, I was you can use this for be a little bit. That's okay. I kind of forgot about it until it's I was okay. already I, put that one in most of the I do that all the time. One time I took it out, <laughs> mm -hmm. did both of them, and then looked back down on the ground as I go. Oh. oh, I could have just used that. Do you want to set this to 100 foot pounds? Just 
just going to check the tire pressure before we send her on her way. 20. That's good. Yeah, uh, that sounds low. It is, yes. So we're also changing the light bulb, I guess. Yay. So which headlight is it? This one? This one. Can I turn it on just to double check? I'm pretty sure. sure it's when I turn left. So I think it's the left. That's going to be interesting. I think this will screw up. Yes, it does. Good. Nice and convenient. Situation there. Yeah. And I just noticed there's no uh, rubber wiper blade on here, so it'll just... Just scratch. Ooh. Oh, good. Okay, anyway, so it's <laughs> this one, we think. It's a little low, mm -hmm. dim, I suppose. Uh, that one's going to be a little awkward for me to get. I uh, might have to pull this panel off. Hopefully oh, not. So... I have to find a way to fit my hand in here. So this little gray one here is oh that little bit. Okay. what we have to twist. I don't know if you can, or I can. I think I might be able to. I don't think so. I've changed my mind. Are your hands smaller than mine? Yes. yes. Progress. No, we're it. Okay. Did you get it? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Success. Ta -da. Okay. So, and this one, it looks like when you depress and twist, which is. Yeah, I know, pushing on the bulb is the most sketchy thing ever. Yeah. Oh, yes, sorry, I set it down on the jack stand. Oh, okay. I was like, I know I had it in my hand at one point, and then I couldn't remember what I did with it. It's a fancy Volvo kit for your bulbs. Probably costed, like, $500. Let's hope the bulb is not broken. Or that it actually works. So it's like, they could work. It? Yeah. He's like, they could work or they could not work. So you just line it up with those little holes. The uh, little prongs. Oh. So you see how, yeah, right there. Hold on. Oh, it feel good. Oh, it's, this might not actually be the right one. See how it's supposed to be. Oh my God, yes, I see it. Because it's got the two little buddies and then the one buddy. To the hardware store! Woo! That's right! Okay. okay, guys, put it in. Yep. Ew! Bugs! Bugs! Oh, wait, wait, hold on. So, did you... I put it in. Okay, I didn't really see. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, before we put it in, let's just check to make sure it works. Oh, okay. Just because sometimes it's difficult to remove them. But honestly, it's not too bad. Like, the headlights are behind these caps, mm -hmm. which look really easy to access. It's not like, um, my friend bought a uh, Dodge Avenger while we were in university. Mm -hmm. And you literally have to, like, take off all of the rear panels and everything just to remove the... That looks perfect. Just to remove the... The lights. The, yeah, the tail lights. Yeah. It's like, a, should be a two second job. But you have to take it. everything apart. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. And you have to have a special tool to take the things off. Oh, even better. So you're like, oh, now I have to go. No, we're, we're just like, I was like, okay, your options are either we just pry this off. Yeah. Because it's not really important. Yeah. 
and you can replace it with something else if you want. Yeah. Or we go by the tool and take this off. He's like, no, I don't care. Yeah, just, just take it off. Because you're going to have to do it again next time. Yeah. Okay. All right, back into the hole. Yeah, feel free to just nudge the cords out of the way. They're not super, or super delicate, I should say. Yeah, and you'll have to rotate it a little bit yeah, until you can actually... Yeah. Don't worry, on the internet this will be done in a second. The power of editing. Yeah, and I would offer to help, but I can't. <laughs> can you get your hand in there? It's okay, I think it's almost done. Maybe I got it. Does that look like it was when you first put it in? Or when you took it out? Yeah. I guess I could have tugged on these. Yes, if you wouldn't mind, that's probably the best thing. Just so you don't suddenly lose your signal light. You're like, doo doo doo. Doo doo doo. Didn't notice. No, that's in there. Okay, sweet. Ta da! Easy. Right. Again. Ta da! So. Shiny, shiny, slightly discolored wheels uh, are all on. So that's it. This video is probably less than five minutes. Good job. Yes. Okay, anyway, hmm. so thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. All right, that's it for today. Have a good night. Yeah or Day. whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like. If you want to follow along and get the next video, subscribe. You can even push the notification button if you like really annoying beepy things. <laughs> um, if you guys, as usual, leave your comments if you want to see any changes to the format or if you like something we did, or didn't like something we did, or just notice us do something wrong, let us know. Particularly if you guys want a step-by-step walkthrough on how to change your wheels, uh, let me know and I can edit one together so it can be nice and compact. But there's lots of those on the internet, so that wasn't really our plan with this. Uh, but if that's what you want, I can do that for you. So, let us know. Anyway, see you later. <laughs>